Hello everyone. Welcome to our online library literacy program of the DOST STII in partnership with the Association of Science and Mathematics Educators of Philippine Private Schools or ASMEPS. So to our students, teachers, librarians, staffs, and school administrators of Marie Osmond School Incorporated Cavite, good morning. For most, I would like to acknowledge the following. Dr. Eloisa Oliveira, the academic consultant. Ms. China Marie S. Deferia, school directress. Good morning, ma'am. Ayan, si ma'am. And then we have Mr. Dexter E. Deferia, school president. Good morning, sir. We also have Mr. Osmond S. Deferia, Assistant School Administrator. We are very honored to have you all today. So once again, thank you so much for joining us. Now let me introduce to you our Recording team. in progress. Ayan. So let me introduce to you our team. We have with us our Supervising Science Research Specialist, Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, good morning, Irene, and good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. And also, thank you, Sir Dexter, for requesting this session. Ayan. Uh, we also have our IT tech support, Mr. Rainer Zagada. Hi, Sir Rainer. And finally, I am Irene Alice Brillo, Science Research Specialist 2 and your moderator for today. Now, to give you a glimpse of what we will be having, we'll be covering these three topics. So first, we have getting to know each other. Uh, sorry, getting to know DOST STII, services, resources, and products. We'll have the part two that is researching in DOST STII library, navigating the online public access catalog, and requesting library materials. And finally, we will be having the navigating the Starbucks offline, online mobile app, quiz app, and how to avail. Now, for us, Recording in progress. Sorry, I got disconnected. Okay, so once again, to give you a glimpse. Ayan, okay, so dun pala ako na stop. Okay, so for a smooth flow of our program, we are encouraging everyone to take note of the following house rules. As you've heard a while back, this session is recorded for documentation purposes. And uh, please use the Q&A chat box or button for questions. You may post your questions while the presentation is ongoing. And I can see that our students are very active and they keep on chatting. <laughs> However, we would uh, request that um, you um, stop chatting for uh, with unnecessary uh, chats. Ayan, siguro because you are very excited to be together in one uh, virtual room, no? So you want to uh, swap stories. And especially, uh, I can see here, uh, talking about Roblox. So you can uh, do that. You can actually create your own group chat in the Facebook so that you can share or swap stories, okay? And, and uh, 
another house rule is for everyone to be polite, to pay attention, and to actively participate. And finally, please answer the post-test and evaluation form in exchange for your e-certificate of attendance. The link will be posted just before the session ends. So your certificate will be sent to your registered email within 10 working days after the conduct of the session. So you have to make sure that the email you input in the evaluation form and in the registration form is correct. So for this particular session, please expect your certificate on or before the 15th of March 2022. Now here are our presenters for part one. Our presenter is the Supervising Science Research Specialist. You've met her a while back, uh, Ms. Linda Lip M. Maglake. For uh, the part two, I will be taking charge of that and I would ask you to prepare your extra gadgets so that you can join me in the actual navigation of our online public access catalog. And for part three, our speaker is the Information System Researcher, Sri Overad, Mr. RJ C. Escondo. Now to formally welcome all of you, let us hear a message from the Director of the DOST STII, Mr. Richard T. Burgos. Hi. Let me greet everyone a happy day. It is always a happy day for us here at the DOST STII Library. And why is that so? Well, as a special repository of science, technology, and innovation information, we are always surrounded by the best minds and works of scientists, technologists, and innovators from the Philippines and from all around the world. So, when the COVID-19 pandemic threw the whole world in a lockdown, some of the first places to be shut down were libraries. We could not receive walk-in clients anymore. Good news is that while our daily physical visitor count plummeted to zero, our online patrons continued to visit us and even increased in number. Moreover, with the school opening in the new blended environment for instruction, more and more learners and teachers are using online tools and resources and discovering the value of digital libraries. The requirement of the time, therefore, is to be agile and to pivot quickly to online solutions. Thus, we repositioned our old physical library tour and orientation program to an online version which we now call the DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program. This is a way of reaching out to all teachers and learners who need to access resources and services that they can use in distance learning. The DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program has three parts. Part one is about getting to know the DOST science and technology information. Institute, our services, available resources, and products. Part 2 teaches you how to research in the DOST STI library, how to navigate the online public access catalog, and how to request for library materials. Lastly, Part 3 will discuss our digital library in a box, the DOST Starbooks. It will teach you how to navigate the DOST Starbucks offline or online, or even its mobile app version. Then there is the Starbucks Quiz app, which is loads of fun. Generally, the online library literacy program aims to capacitate DOST stakeholders in the field of science, technology, and innovation and to maximize the use of DOST STI services and resources. The most wonderful news is that all these resources are available online for you for free. So what are you waiting for? Come and spend a happy day at the DOST STII library. Visit our FB page 
at facebook.com slash STII library and access our online public access catalog at signet.dost.gov.ph. See you soon! And, and with that enthusiastic message from our director, I hope we are all excited and ready to hear about the products and services of the UST STII. However, before we continue, I would like to request our students to kindly stop uh, spamming our chat room, our chat box, okay? Uh, so that we won't remove you from the room. As I've mentioned a while back, we will uh, we are expect and be polite and to actively participate. And actively participating means that you interact with us not in spamming way, but in a good way. Okay. Uh, are we clear on that? Kindly uh, chat. Okay. Okay, so are we clear? Are we clear with our rules? And for everyone's uh, information, you are your camera and audio are all disabled. You are only allowed to uh, use the chat box. Okay, so are we clear? Kindly chat crystal if it's clear. Wala na akong nakikitang nagcha-chat. I'm still on? Ayan, Sir Dexter nag-yes. Okay, thank you, Sir Dexter. <laughs> Ayan, so at this point, allow me to give you a very brief background of the Department of Science and Technology. Ayan, from 1958 to 1982, the UST was formerly known as the National Science and Development Board or NSDB. From 1982 to 1987, it was changed to National Science and Technology Authority or SDA. And finally, in 1987, by virtue of Executive Order Number 128, it was changed to Department of Science and Technology or DOST as it is known until today. At present, the DOST is headed by Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña or SFTP for short. So again, that is Fortunato T. De La Peña. Here's a trivia. All DOST attached agencies are working under the tagline Science for the People, which is the exact acronym or Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña or SFTP. So, sa Tagalog naman, ito ay nakatranslate sa agham para sa bayan. DOST is composed of 18 attached agencies and several regional offices divided into four clusters, namely the Sectoral Planning Councils, the S&T Services, the Collegial and Scientific Bodies, and the Research and Development Institutes. DOST Science and Technology Information Institute or DOST STII is part of the SNT services as the marketing and information arm of the DOST system. We shall now proceed to our topics. And so to give you more information on the products and services of the DOST STII, here is the video presentation of Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake, Supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOST STII Library. Ma'am Linder? Hello, everyone. How are you today? We hope that you are all doing well. I am Linderlit M. Maglake, 
the head librarian of DOST Science and Technology Information Institute. And I am here today to introduce our agency. So let's get to know DOST STII. DOST STII is one of the attached agency of the Department of Science and Technology. We are the information and marketing arm of DOST. We have three mandates. We are mandated to establish a science and technology library. So that's DOST STII library. Next is to disseminate science and technology information. We disseminate SNP information in all formats. Through prints, we have our own publications. We also do broadcasting and press releases and through social media as well as mobile applications. So we will identify them all on the next. Recording in progress. We are very sorry for the delay. Please bear with us. Again. And while our tech team uh, continue to uh, check on their, um, connection, And I would like to remind everyone that we, you can already uh, post your questions while the uh, presentation is going. Now, what if nalobat ako? Okay lang po yun. Ayan, kapag nalobat po kayo, uh, aantayin natin or kailangan nyo pong mag-charge. Ayan. And uh, ang Q&A Chatbox natin ay gagamitin lamang po natin sa mga katanungan. Okay? Ayan. So, I think our presentation is okay now. Sir Rainer? Measure to stop the spread of COVID-19. But don't worry. You can still avail of our library services by contacting us. You can email us at library at stii.dost.gov.ph and you can call and text us on the following numbers. For announcement, you can follow our social media accounts on Facebook at STII Library, on Instagram at dost.stii Library, and on Twitter at STII underscore library. And if you miss watching our webinars, you can subscribe and watch the recordings at our YouTube channel at DOST STII Library. For library material requests, you can browse our library collection at signet.dost.gov.ph. Our online public access catalog is very easy to use. You just need to remember four things. Recording in progress. And we will be going back to that, uh, to Ma'am Linder's presentation later. Is that okay with you? I am Sir Rainer. Uh, okay. Let's move. 
blurry. It's blurry. Okay, is it still blurry? Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. There's no login required. Number two, click online public access catalog. Number three, type your keyword in the search bar, then click search. And then last, make sure that the location of the material is in STII. Then copy the details and email it at library at stai.dost.gov.ph. It's easy, right? We also disseminate ST information through our publications. So these are all of the DOST STII publications that you can download for free at stii.dost.gov.ph. So let's describe each publication. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science or PJS, which is the oldest scientific peer-reviewed journal in the Philippines, published in 1906. So what can you see inside PJS? If you are looking for research outputs on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, you can refer to the Philippine Journal of Science. So for those of you who are looking for related studies on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, PJS is the one for you. Next, we have the SNT Post, which is a quarterly publication of DOST STII. So what's inside SNT Post? If you are looking for news articles on various DOST programs, SNT Post is the one for you. In particular, SNT Post tackles how DOST initiatives have created an impact in agriculture, enterprise, industry, IT, health, education, and disaster preparedness. Next is the Red Book or the Reference for Emergency and Disaster Book. The Red Book serves as a handy tool of information about all possible natural hazards in an area. The warning information given by agencies like Pagasa and Vivox and special programs like Project NOAA and the suggested actions to take during these events. The Red Book can be used by our grade 11 and grade 12 students as well as our teachers as a reference on the subject disaster readiness and risk reduction. So if you know someone who needs a reference on emergency and disaster, well, you can refer them the Red Book. Next, we have the DOST Digest, which is a monthly DOST publication. So what's inside DOST Digest? If you are looking for condensed and easy to read science and technology news stories, DOST Digest is the one for you. DOST Digest contains the most recent technologies and happenings in the local SNT community with compelling photos and images on a full color four page newsletter. So if you are a student or professional on the go, DOST Digest is the one for you. Next is Balitang Rapidos, which is a monthly publication of DOST STII. So are you looking for news stories on science and technology which is written in the Filipino language. So if you are, you can refer to Balitang Rapidos. Balitang Rapidos provides condensed and easy to read news stories on science and technology that is written in the Filipino language. Next, we have the SPEARS or the Specialized Philippine Enterprise Reference of Experts and Scientists, which is originally published as the Philippine Men of Science in 1964 and renamed as the Philippine Men and Women of Science in 2013. So what's inside SPEARS? Are you curious about our Filipino scientists? Have you ever wondered what are their contribution in the country? Do you want to know more about our Filipino scientists? Well, if your answer is yes, SPEARS is the one for you. 
Spears provide biobibliographic information of Filipino scientists and experts, which serves as a specialized reference for the public. Last, we have the Philippine Science and Technology Abstracts or the PSTA. PSTA is a semi-annual publication of DOST STII, released every June and December of each year. PSTA features abstracts of local SNP published researches. So if you are looking for a list of local SNP published researches, PSTA is the one for you. So remember, all of these publications are all free for full text download at DOST STII website at www.stii.dost.gov.ph. So just go visit our website go to products and projects and select SNT publications, then you're good to go. We also disseminate SNT information through our mobile apps, which are all free for download at Google Play Store. Just type DOST STII in the search bar. Let's describe these mobile apps one by one. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science mobile app. If you're always on the go and you want to be updated on the latest issue of Philippine Journal of Science, you can download this mobile app on your mobile devices and do research on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences. With Philippine Journal of Science mobile app, you can access the past and current issues of PJS anytime, anywhere. Next, we have the DOS TV mobile app for past and current episodes of DOS TV programs. Because we are the information and marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology, we also promote SNT through broadcasting. And DOS TV is one of the flagship program of DOS TSAI aside from DOS T Starbucks. DOS TV is the official weather, science and technology television program of the Department of Science and Technology to communicate science for the people, promote a culture of science and technology, and raise the aspirations of our youth to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and be the leaders of the future. Among the programs of DOSTB are DOST Report, Expert Talk, Negociencia, Cineciencia, and special coverage on SNT events. So if you miss watching these programs, you can download the DOS TV mobile app. Next is the science.ph mobile app. If you are always on the go and you want to be updated on the news on science and technology, well, we recommend science.ph mobile app for you. By using this mobile app, you will always be updated on the happenings in the field of science and technology. Science.ph mobile app will let you categorize the news by region and by field of study. So download it now. Next, we have the DOST app. This was recently introduced to the public in 2020 to allow the public to be updated on the DOST initiatives, programs, and projects. DOST app gives you quick access to information on science, technology, and innovation from the Department of Science and Technology. It is a handy tool to find practical solutions to the country's pressing problems and to provide career and livelihood opportunities for every Filipino. Next is the Starbucks Quiz app, designed to challenge our elementary, high school, and college students to answer quizzes on science and technology. So this can be used by our teachers in providing an interactive activity on their classes. We also have the Starbucks mobile app for the students and teachers on the go. So here are the following contents of the Starbucks mobile app. We have the SCARTI livelihood videos, K-12 materials, science for safer communities videos, investigatory projects, math and science educational videos. Lastly, we also have the Starbucks GeoMap. Locate all of Starbucks kiosks installed in the Philippines. So remember, all of these mobile apps are all free for download 
at Google Play Store. You just need to type DOST STII at the search bar. We are encouraging you all to download it now. We also disseminate SNT information through our website. So here are the following websites for Philippine Journal of Science at philjournalsci.dost.gov.ph. For DOSTB, we have dostb.ph. For science.ph, we have science.ph. Very easy to remember, right? And for spheres, we have spheres.dost.gov.ph. And you can access the link to these websites at DOST STII website at stii.dost.gov.ph. As I have mentioned earlier, we also disseminate SNT information through broadcasting. So we are inviting you all to please watch CineCN every Monday at 5 p.m., Expert Talk Online every Wednesday at 5 p.m., and DOST Report every Friday at 4 p.m. live at DOSTB Facebook page at facebook.com slash DOSTBPH and at DOSTB Science for the People YouTube channel. And lastly, our third mandate, we undertake training on SNT information. Among the topics that we cover are science journalism, basic photography, digitization of print materials, and online library literacy program. Again, we are encouraging you all to please maximize the use of our services and resources. For inquiries regarding our services, resources and products, here are our contact details. Again, this is Glinda Ritt and Maglake. Thank you for listening. Let's stay connected. Contact us now. talaga magkaroon ng sarili kong negosyo. Kaso, bago matupad yun, kailangan ko muna ng makinarya at financial assistance. Pangarap ko maging scientist balang araw. Kaso lang, alam kong gipit si Enay ngayon. Saan kaya mayroong scholarship? Kung mayroon ang sana mapagtatanungan kung saan pwedeng humingi ng tulong. 
Hanggang sa nasagot nga ang aking mga kahilingan. Inihahandog ng Department of Science and Technology. Recording in progress. Um, DOST SDII services that we can or you can avail for free. Now, uh, I will be uh, doing the actual navigation of our online public access catalog. But first, let's listen and watch this uh, DOST SDII info service infomercial. Serena? Volunteers, maaari ka magtanong tungkol sa mga scholarships, laboratorio, research grants, at call for proposals. Maaari magtungo sa aming official Facebook page para gamitin ang Info Serbilis. At iklik lamang ang message now at dadali ka rito sa aming Facebook chat at pwedeng pwede ka nang magtanong na may kinalaman sa DOST. Maaari ka rin magtungo at magtanong sa DOST Philippines Facebook page. Inulunsad ang DOST Info Serbilis dahil layunin itong matulungan ka tulad din na Egan at Liz. Ang dali at ang bilis, di ba? Ano pang hinihintay mo? Magtanong na sa aming go-to communication platform, DOST Info Serbilis. I-like at i-follow ang aming official Facebook page para sa iba pang mga impormasyon. Maaari din kaming makontak sa email na makikita sa iyong screen. Para sa impormasyong masaligan at mabilis, DOST Info Serbilis. Ayan, so DOST Info Serbilis. And now for the part 2, as I mentioned a while back, we will be doing the actual navigation of our online public access catalog. So, if you have your extra gadget with you, ayan, pakilabas. At sabayan nyo ako. Let me just share my screen. Ayan. Can you see my screen? Okay, so I hope you can see my screen. And for those who have their extra gadgets with them, are you ready? Ayan, ready, ready na ba kayo? It's top. Okay. It's okay kung wala po kayong extra gadget. Ayan, yung mga may extra lang po, you can join me in the actual navigation of our online public access catalog. Okay. So first, as mentioned by Ms. Linder a while back, let's go to signet.dost.gov.ph. Oops, sorry. It's supposed to be DOST. signet.dost.gov.ph. Okay, so this is the interface. And let's click online public access catalog or go back. Yan. Are you with me? Okay, so in navigating our online public access catalog, we use two ways. We can use the quick search and also the expert search. So, depende po kung ano yung gusto ninyong gamitin. Ang quick search po is the same when you use the Google search minus the Google Assistant. Ayan. It, Magagaling ang mga bata ngayon, no? Uh, ibig sabihin, that includes you. Because uh, Google Assistant is very good. You can just uh, talk. And uh, the links will appear, right? 
So for the quick search, ang gagawin natin, we just key in our topic. Can you give me your subject or your topic in science that you are uh, discussing? Ngayon, ngayong third, is it your third, ano ngayon, third, uh, third grading period? Okay, sige. Pachat nga ako uh, ng subject or topic that you have in mind that's related to science. Meron ba? May naiisip kayo dyan? What's your topic in science? Ngayon. Hmm. How light interact in objects? Why is the ocean deep? Like heat. Okay. So let's try light. Okay. So as I mentioned, it's uh, the topic that we need to input. Okay. So ganun lang po kadali. You just input your topic and click search. And for the topic on light, we have 2,482 results. So, ganito po kadami yung materials natin that has light as a topic or subject matter. And these materials are represented by these icons. Our library holds different resources or types of materials. And these icons are represented or described here above. So for this icon, this represents books. Sorry. And for this icon, this represents technical reports. This one represents analytics or these are actually articles that are taken from the serials or uh, magazines and journals. We also have this icon uh, representing non-prints. We have this one for non-prints. Uh, for reprints, this is for investigatory projects. And I think nagkaroon na kayo ng ganito, no? Uh, or you will still be having this one. And we also have our thesis collection. The thesis collection are the outputs of our DOST scholars. So, kung halimbawa, mag-high school na kayo and you are interested to join the DOST scholar, uh, scholarship program, mag-message po kayo sa ating Facebook page. And I'll be showing you that later. We also have this icon for vertical files. So, kitang-kita nyo po dito. Ayan siya. And if you want to know more about the material that, uh, for example, you're interested in this title and you want to know more what's inside this material, you just click this one and the bibliographic record will be shown. So we have here the complete title of the material, the location. Okay, so for location, you make sure that the material is located in SDII. The DOSD signet is a union catalog uh, that holds the different resources of the DOST attached agencies. So na na banggit ko po kanina during the opening that uh, DOST has 18 attached agencies and several uh, regional offices. So ang mabibigil lang po namin sa inyo na materials are materials that are located in SDII. Also, you can find here the different subjects that's within the material. And this is a book as represented by the icon. Okay? So, ganyan po ang gagawin natin. Ganun lang po madali si quick search. So, quick means mabilis. Now, let's move on to expert search. For expert search naman, ang pinakaiba nila with the uh, quick search is the use of delimiter. So, if you know the exact title of the material, you click the title. If you know the author, you, you key in the author. If uh, you are inputting the subject matter, then choose subject. Or if you know when the material was published, you click date and then input the date. Or if it's part of the content, then you just click content. So for example, uh, we'll have here the subject is light. And you can also choose the specific material type that you are interested in. So, for example, you only want to do have uh, materials or articles. 
or you only want the books or non-prints or investigatory projects or technical reports, pwedeng pwede nyo pong piliin kung ano lang yung, kung saan kayo interested. So for this time, let's just click all material types. And you can use these Boolean operators. Ang gamit po ng end is kailangan ang nakalagay dito at ang ilalagay natin dito ay magkasama sa iisang material lang. So for example, ang content is na gusto natin na magkasama is light and heat. You can also display as much as 50 records per page. So let's click search. Ayan. So for materials that has both light and heat. At the same time, wala po. Okay. <laughs> Balik tayo kay expert search. What if ang ginamit natin ay si light and or? Ayan. Paano kung or ang ginamit natin? Ibig sabihin, either materials that has light or that has heat will be shown. And we'll choose 50 records per page. Then click search and we have 957 records so meron po tayong 957 na materials that has either light or heat as topic or part of the content and another uh, difference between expert search and the quick search is that you can immediately see here the location of the material so for these ones, they are located in PCHRD. Now, when it comes to researches, uh, PCHRD is the go-to agency of the Department of Science and Technology. PCHRD is the Research and Development Institute of, of DOSD. Okay, so you can just click next page. Ayan, next page. So, makikita nyo po yung mga iba't ibang materials dito. And if you are interested in these materials, pwedeng-pwede nyo pong hanapin ang DOST PCHRD sa Facebook at mag-message po kayo sa kanila. Okay? And finally, let's try using the NOT. Ayan. Ang gamit naman ni NOT, Ay, gusto natin si heat, ay, si light lang ang lalabas, hindi kasama yung mga materials that has heat as topic or part of the content. And let's click search. Okay, so for materials that has light as topic or subject, meron tayong 705 records. Okay, and... Fortunately, these materials are found in STII. Okay. So, nakita nyo po yung pagkakaiba ni expert search and quick search. Yan. And for example, yung mga hinahanap ninyo, katulad kanina, hinahanap natin na magkasama sana si heat and light sa iisang material type, pero wala tayong nahanap. Pwedeng-pwede din po kayong mag-send sa amin ng request. Sabihin niyo kailangan niyo ng ganitong material pero wala kayong nakita dito sa online public access catalog natin. Provided that what you are looking for or your topic is related to science, technology, and innovation information. Because our library is a special library that holds resources only on science, technology, and innovation. Kasi yan ang binigay sa atin na mandato ng gobyerno. Kaya hanggang doon lang yung pwedeng um, i-collect ng ating library. Ngayon, for example, wala kayong mahanap dito. Gusto nyo ng ibang uh, other sources of uh, materials. Pwede tayong pumunta sa elive.gov. PH. Ang e Philippine eLive naman is a union catalog also, but this is a consortium between the National Library of the Philippines, the University of the Philippines, Department of Science and Technology, Department of Agriculture, and the Commission on Higher Education. Ayan. Um, although nasa elementary pa lang po kayo, pero uh, sa ating mga teachers at sa 
inyong mga kuya, ate, or parents na nangangailangan ng mga um, higher level na uh, materials, pwede po, pwede po nilang gamitin ang Philippine Glide. So, magkapariho lang din po sa ating online public access catalog, the basic searches here, and also the ad fans search. Ayan. At pipili lang tayo dito. For example, gusto natin manggaling yung material sa Commission on Higher Education. I-check lang natin siya. But, under the Philippine eLive, ang pwede lang din po namin maibigay sa inyo na materials are the materials found in the Department of Science and Technology. Okay po? Ayan. And for example, you have assignments on uh, Philippine experts and scientists. So, sabi ni teacher, maghanap kayo kung sino yung mga scientists na nag specialize sa ganitong field. So, for example, nag-specialize sila sa uh, seaweeds or sa agriculture or sa uh, ito. Infectious, infectious disease. Ayan. So, pwedeng pwede po kayong pumunta sa spheres.dust.gov.ph. Nandito po ang biobibliographies ng mga Philippine experts and scientists. And the volumes here or the issues of spheres are free for download. So, pwede nyo po silang i-download. Okay? Also, for example, you are looking for full text uh, scientific articles, pwedeng pwede po kayong pumunta sa field journal site.dost.gov.ph. Kanina, uh, pinakita sa atin ni Ms. Linder yung mobile app. Ngayon, this is naman our um, web-based browser. So you can go to field journal site.dost.gov.ph and makikita po dito yung ating mga uh, full text research articles. Ayan. So you can read online or you can also download this material and you can read later and offline. Okay? So that is for the Philippine Journal of Science. Now, for example, you went through these different sources and you are interested to request a material. Ano or paano ang gagawin natin sa pag-request? Okay, for example, you are interested in this material. You just click this one. Ayan, you copy the title, the call number. Make sure the location is STII. You also copy the publication title, especially if it's an article. The volume issue and the issue date of the material. And... Send it to us via email. Our email address is library at stii.dost.gov.ph. That's our email address. So for once again, for your material request, send it via library at stii.dost.gov.ph. Ngayon, kung halimbawa, uh, gusto niyo nang mas mabilis, you can screenshot this one. Ayan, you can just screenshot this one and attach it to your email. Okay? So, yun ang pinakamadaling paraan na pwede nating gamitin. Or, for example, you are interest in, interested in this materials. One, two, three, four, five. Since nakita nyo na they are all uh, located in STII, you can copy each one of these or you can also screenshot this one and attach it to your email. Madali lang. Madali lang, di ba? So, ganyan ang gagawin natin for you to request library material. Now, for example, dito sa mga local na sources ng uh, materials ay wala kayong makita, pwede din po kayong pumunta sa sciencedirect.com. Now, for sciencedirect.com is a subscription-based but at the same time, it offers open access content. This means that you don't need to register or you don't need to sign in uh, for you to read the materials. So, for example, okay, ano yung kaninang chat nila? Uh -huh, is it still blurry? Nakikita niyo pa din siya? Is 
Okay. Ayan. Binabalikan ko yung binigay ninyo na topic. Okay. Radiation. Radiation, sabi ni Sophia. I can see it. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you can still see this one. Okay. So, for example, you are interested or you are looking for materials related to, to radiation. You just uh, input radiation and click next. And under the science direct for the topic on radiation, we have 1 million plus Results. So, ganun po kadami ang laman ng Science Direct. So, Science Direct is a peer-reviewed and um, authoritative source of uh, scientific articles. Also, uh, sci social sciences are in here. But uh, for the DOST, our focus is on science, technology, and innovation. So, uh, ito po yung sinasabi ko po kanina na open access material. It has already a download PDF uh, area. So, pwede, pwede nyo pong i-download ito and read this one. Now, for example, ito po wala kayong makitang download full text. You can copy this one or you can open this one and screenshot. Attach it to your email and send it to us if you are interested to read the text of this article okay so for the materials under science direct we will be uh, we will try to see if your request is part or covered by our subscription and we will be sending back the exact uh, article however if your request is not covered we will be looking for other uh, materials that are related to your topic and we will send it back to you. Now, for example, uh, you forgot the email address of our library, you can also contact us via our Facebook page. This is our Facebook page, Science and Technology Information Institute Library. So, pwede, pwede po kayong mag-send sa amin dito ng material request. Just make sure to attach the uh, screenshot plus your email address because we will be sending back the digital copy of the material through your email, okay? Or, for example, you forgot the email address or the Facebook page of the DOST STII library, you can go to the Facebook page of DOST Info Service. Katulad ng uh, sinabi kanina sa infomercial, Dito po sa DOST Info Service, pwede, pwede po kayong magtanong ng kahit ano tungkol sa DOST. Pwede, pwede nyo din pong tanungin dito kung ano ang email address ng STII Library. Okay po? At katulad po ng nasabi ko kanina, if for example you're already in your high school and you are interested to learn more about the scholarship being offered by the Department of Science and Technology, pwede, pwede din po kayong mag-message dito sa DOST Info Service. Or for example, hindi nyo mahanap si DOST Info Service, pwede, pwede nyo din pong hanapin si DOST Philippines. Ayan, pwedeng pwede din po kayong magtanong ng kahit ano dito tungkol sa DOST. Okay? Ayan. Ngayon, ang tanong. Okay, for example, nag-request kayo sa amin ngayon, kailan namin sasagutin or ibibigay ang kailangan ninyo. Now, for the STII, we are given maximum of eight working hours to respond to your query and with the um with the alert level ones because we are now working from eight o'clock in the morning to five in the afternoon and we will be responding or we are going to respond to your query within that span of working hours we also work from mondays to fridays and uh, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Meaning, uh, if, for example, your request or your query falls on 
or during our off hours, uh, we will be responding on the nearest working day or working hour. So for example, nag-message po kayo dahil may assignment kayo at nag-message kayo sa amin ng alas 8 ng gabi, magre-respond po kami sa inyo kinabukasan uh, soon as possible time. Okay, so for example, ito, tingnan natin. Si Alessandro Armodia. Uh, you see this one? Nag-send lang po siya ng screenshot ng material na kailangan niya. And uh, just until yesterday, our working uh, days are from Mondays to Thursdays. Uh, ngayon lang po magsisimula yung uh, Monday to or work, we will be working until Friday. So, ito po, na-receive namin siya Feb 4, 1.58 a.m. Madaling araw ng Friday. And, sinagot na Monday, Feb 7, ng 8.28 a.m. At siya ay naghahanap ng, uh, this is an article, but this, this is located in PDRI. This is also an article and this is located in STII. So, ang ginawa natin dahil meron siyang located sa STII and outside STII, what we did is we provided kung ano yung nasa atin sa DOST STII and we uh, also attach articles related to the topic na located naman siya in PTRI. And mapapansin po ninyo, katulad ng pinakita ko kanina, nag-reply naman po kami agad-agad. That's the nearest working day and working hour. Now, uh, kapag po nag-respond po kami sa inyong query or sa inyong response, ang hihilingin lang din po namin sa inyo is for you to sign our feedback form. Our feedback form will help us uh, improve our uh, library services. And also, in our feedback form, we will be asking you to list the materials that you were looking for which are not uh, found in our library. This will help us improve our acquisition. Okay? So, uh, lalawak po yung uh, i-acquire natin. Pag nagbigay kayo sa amin ng mga exact title, kung may alam kayo na exact title and author of materials. Okay? So, ganyan po kung paano natin i-navigate ang ating online public access catalog. Kung paano mag-request. Once again, that is library at stii.tost.gov.ph Okay? Once again, our working days are from Mondays to Fridays, 8 o'clock in the morning and five, until 5 in the afternoon. If you have any, if you have other questions, I'll see you or I'll be responding that in the Q&A portion. Ayan. Uh, and, sige, before we proceed, okay, I'll just stop share. And ayan, pwede po ba ako kumain? Ayan, sa mga nagugutom na po, pwede po kayong sumubo. Pero uh, make sure that you don't spill if you're going to drink para hindi kayo mag-spill sa gadgets nyo. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. Ayan, and uh, before we proceed to our final topic, let me just ask you some questions. So, bago kami ang tanongin ninyo, ako magtatanong. Okay. So, uh, you can use the Q&A button for your, uh, for your answer. Sabi ni Ronnie, teacher, I don't get it. Aha. Uh -huh. Sige. Uh, I would like, uh, or Ronnie, what don't you get? Ayan, tuloy mo na lang kung ano yung hindi makuha. It's saying it's not secure and not loading. Okay. Um, for our online public access catalog, nakalagay siya not secure. Uh, kasi matagal na po yung web page natin. But we are currently developing a new system and definitely ayan, mawawala na po yung not secure. Okay, so ready na ba kayo sa uh, questions? Ayan, so pwede nyo pang i-chat. 
sa Q&A button, since na-disable ang uh, chat sa inyo. And pwede nyo pang uh, ilagay dito sa Q&A button yung sagot ninyo sa tanong ko. Okay, ako ang magtatanong sa inyo. Number one, who is the Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology? Sino nakakaalam sa inyo? Or sino nakinig? Who is the Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology? I mentioned this a while back. Ayan, sabi ni Kisha, Fortunato de la Peña po. Okay, thank you Kisha for listening. Another question. How many attached agencies does the DOST have? Ilan, yung nabanggit kanina. How many attached agencies does DOST have? Ayan. I-record po ni teacher kung sino po yung mga sumasagot. Ayan. Sabi ni Alexa, 40, 50. Sabi ni Marky, 18. Very good, Marky. So, 18 nga po. Sabi din ni Calvin, 18. Yes, it's 18. Next. Ito. What is the meaning of OPAC? What is the meaning of OPAC? Ayan, mahaba-haba yan. Let's see. Ayan. Sige, Kisha, ituloy mo. Online what? Sophia, what is the meaning of OPAC? Okay, very good, Git. Sabi niya, online public access catalog. Kisha, okay, online public access catalog. Christine, very good. Ayan, nakikinig sila. Okay, ito na, final question. How much longer until we leave? Ayan, Nash, uh, we will be staying here until 12. Okay, final question. What field of specialization does the materials of the DOST SDII support? What fields of specialization does the DOST SDII support? Or ano, ano yung mga materials na nasa library? Sabi ni Nash, this is torture. Really? I'm sorry. Books. Yes, books on what? Christine? Sabi ni Kiel 7. Torture down. This is no print, reprint, publication. Ayan. Sabi ni Sophia, yes, science. Tinuloy naman ni Ronnie, sciences and technology. Yes. Okay, very good. So, science, technology, and innovation. Ayan, thank you so much for responding. Now, we will move on to our final topic. That's navigation, the Starbucks online, offline, and how to avail. Here is Mr. RJ C. Iskanda. Magandang araw po sa lahat and welcome ulit sa ating online library literacy program. So, narito po ako ngayon para ipakilala sa inyo si Starbucks. So, kanina, uh, pinakilala na po si STII maging ang ating library. Ang ating library po ay matatanggupuan sa Bikutan Tagig. So, ito po yung isang challenge natin when it comes to information access. Uh, ang Bikutan Tagig po ay medyo may kalayuan sa karamihan ng ating mga information seekers. Uh, at bukod doon, isa rin siya sa may matrapik na area. So, dito tayo nagkaka-problem uh, yung tinatawag nating gap between the information seekers o yung ating mga researchers at yung ating content na matatagpuan sa library. 
So, uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin? So, ang ginawa namin, or ng STII, is to bring the library resources sa ating mga information seekers. So, papunta na sa inyo. It's the other way around na. So, papaano natin ginawa yun? Ito po ang kaya, kaya na buo si Starbucks. So, si Starbucks po ay isang digital library na kung sa ayanan natin sa tradisyonal, yung mga libro natin, ginawa natin siyang apernasis natin siya into digital forms para pwede na natin siyang uh, ipamahagi sa iba't ibang nangangailangan. Uh, bukod dito, once digital ka na, pwede na siya ng sabay-sabay gamitin or tinatawag natin multiple access. Pangalawa, si Starbucks po ay offline or hindi na nangangailangan ng internet connections. Uh, so, pangatlo, uh, mobile na siya. So, it's called a library na box. Uh, Trinayin natin siyang gawing mobile. So, anywhere, even the remote areas, pwede natin mapuntahan. At higit sa lahat, ang system po ni Starbucks ay pinamamahagi na atin sa ating mga institution or eskwelahan ng libre. Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Uh, gusto natin mag-create ng interest sa science and technology ang ating mga kabataan at uh, later on is mag-enroll sila into science and technology courses. Uh, sunod is magkaroon tayo ng pool of uh, SNP personnel through uh, inventions, innovations, and of course, inspire one's capacity for entrepreneurship and research. Ano-ano uh, naman ang laman ng Starbucks? So, nung umpisa po ang kung ano yung meron kay library, uh, yun ang nilalagay natin kay Starbucks. Ngayon, we partnered with different content providers at sa iba't ibang ahensya ng DOST. Uh, we have livelihood videos, uh, disaster risk reduction information through S4SC, the Philippine Men and Women of Science, uh, encyclopedia, COVID, COVID information, investigatory projects, and of course, yung ating K-12 materials. So, yung K-12 materials po natin, through the partnership with Front Learners, ito na po ang laman natin. So, this is in accordance with the DepEd K-12 uh, guidelines or content guidelines. Uh, huh? uh, quarters So, yan So, naka-breakdown na siya per subject Per quarter Per grade level Ah, sorry, that's per grade level Per quarter per subject Alright So, we can also see Kung ano yung ginagamit ni DepEd na code For each specific lessons Nandito na rin po siya So, ano ba yung mission ni Starbucks? So, Sabi nga natin, ginawa si Starbucks para mapadala sa ating information seekers. So, our mission is to bring Starbucks to your location o doon sa mga nangangailangan. And to date, meron na po tayong 5,199 Starbucks sites nationwide. So, karamihan po dito, of course, is our academic institutions. We have some from LGUs. Non-government uh, non agencies and NGOs and private institutions. So, ilan lamang po ito sa mga uh, deployments natin. So, sabi nga natin, it's mobile. So, wala na tayong pinipiling lugar. Hindi na pwedeng sa city lang. Kasi hindi lang naman sa city ang nangangailangan ng impormasyon natin. Tawid ilog, tawid dagat, tawid bundok. Ito naman po, uh, uh, meron tayong isang area, uh, isang area in Katiil, Davao Oriental. So, our regional op, uh, office developed a solar-powered Starbucks. So, para marating natin yung Barangay Malibago or Patong Elementary School. Uh, totally remote, this uh, no internet, no electricity. Pero still... They can still use our contents. Sabi ko kanina, we also have 
Tawid Bundok. Karamihan in car. Remote areas. Okay. For our partners, these are the list of our partners. Uh, we can break them down into two. Uh, content partners. So, sila yung nagbibigay sa atin ng mga contents. Uh, na pwede nating ilagay kay Starbucks at ng mga gamit ng mga sadyante, researchers, at uh, entrepreneurs. Of course, we have the deployment partners. So, sila yung nagdadala naman ng Starbucks sa ating mga lugar or sa kanilang uh, respective beneficiaries. And of course, we also partnered with our different attached agencies ni DOST as well as re our regional offices for the deployment of our Starbucks sa kanilang mga nasasakupan. So, to date, ito lang, ito po ang mga nakamit ni Starbucks simula nung tayo ay uh, ni-launch noong 2011. So, noong 2015, nagawaran tayo ng Presidential Citation for Innovative International Library Projects ng American Library Associations and the Outstanding Library of the Year ng PAARL naman. So, in 2017, nabigyan tayo ng Best Practice Recognition ng Debe Academy of the Philippines as well as Silver and Gold Anvil Awards for Public Relations Tools, Multimedia, and Public Relations Program category. 2019, we were given the Special Award for the Freedom of Information uh, by the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Uh, last year, we were given Excellence in Government Communications Program Award ng Philippine Quill Awards. And since 2017 to 2020, tayo po ay consistent na kasama sa priority programs ng National Economic Development Authority. So, paano naman ngayon na wala tayong physical face-to-face -face sa mga schools? So, of course, we need to pivot to the new normal. Si Starbucks po ay meron tayong iba't ibang portal na pwede pa rin magamit hindi man tayo nakikita-kita sa mga sa physical na eskwelahan. So, we have the online portal. We have different apps. We have gamified quiz app and of course, the Geo Map. So, isa-isahin natin yan. Sa ating Starbucks online portal, uh, this was launched in 2015 mainly as a management and monitoring portal ng ating mga installation sites all over the country. Dito kasi sila nagsasubmit ng mga usage reports and dito rin tayo nagbibigay ng updates sa, para sa kanilang mga contents. However, nung, during the pandemic, when everyone was forced to stay at home, so our learners ay nangailangan ng pagkukunan or ng magpag-access ng informasyon. So, what we did in Starbucks is to upload our contents dito sa ating portal uh, para magkaroon naman ng ating mga sadyante and researchers ng relevant and timely science and technology innovation information. And it was also this time na uh, nilawakan natin yung ating partnerships with the different organizations para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang content online. So, paano natin ito maa-access? Uh, using your browser, just go to www.starbooks.ph And sa upper right side, makikita nyo po yung dito, yung login here to explore. So, just click that side and lalab magkakaroon po tayo ng pop-up window like this in image number 2. So if you have if you've registered before uh, just input your username and password or you can always sign up. So once you sign up, you click yung sign up form lalabas po yung ating sign up form. Just fill out the required information and click submit. Now you can explore our online portal. So our contents Katulad ng mga binanggit ko kanina sa offline, we have the different contents 
from our different agencies, content providers, and online sources. So, para naman sa ating mga gadget users, we developed ilang mobile applications para maka-connect or maka-access din sa ating Starbucks information. So, ito naman, kinawa natin ito noong July 2019. And, uh, to date, hanggang Android, Android pa lang po ang ito available. So, we can download it at Google Play Store. So, paano tayo magkaroon? Punta lang po kayo sa inyong Play Store sa inyong mga gadgets. Search for Starbucks. So, kay Starbucks po, tingnan nyo mabuti. Meron siyang nakalagay. Yung may logo po na bilog. Ayan. And then, download and install. So, same then. Pro, uh, set up lang tayo ng ating profile, your name, your age, and your category. And then, you can access our different informations contained in Starbucks, such as the Scarte videos. So, dito, since gadget naman siya, click-click lang. Uh, minsan, may mga kailangan din tayo na applications, katulad ng video play players. And, so, para maka-access tayo ng mga videos natin. Uh, yung ibang materials natin, such as journals, science journals, we have the complete text, uh, complete article, full title, uh, uploaded na rin po yan. Especially those coming from the Philippine Journal of Science. Uh, halimbawa, uh, need nyo ng specific na item, you can always use the search function. So, sa search function natin, we can limit it or filter it if you want the video, the full text, or the text only. So, usually, yung mga text only, ito yung mga web contents natin. So, you can use titles, you can use keywords uh, to search for your information. So, paano naman kung medyo bored-bored ka na sa pagbabasa? Si Starbucks po, nag-develop din. Ito po, bagong-bago lang. Uh, Kakalunch lang nito last week. So, initially, meron kaming uh, simpli, sim, mas simpleng version nito. Ito lang yung mas pinaganda. We have avatars na, we have tokens na, and everything. So, si Gamified na po, si WizApp, same din siya. It's available kay Android. So, punto lang tayo kay Play Store. And hanapin po si Starbucks Wiz. So, yung icon po niya is si Smarty. Kung familiar kayo kay Smarty, yung mukhang Angry Bird na may hawak na tablet. So, yan si Starbucks Wiz. And install and play. So, ito na po ang mangyayari dyan. Same pa rin tayo ng process. Always enroll on your account reg or register your account and login. Or pwede rin na po yan ng using your FB. Okay? So, meron tayong iba't ibang Meron po tayong iba't ibang levels na magagamit dito. Let's begin. Take on the challenge from seven different categories. Step right up and conquer the beginner level. If you find that easy, the intermediate, junior, and senior levels will make you wish you paid more attention in class. But if you're really raring for a challenge, prepare to be stumped when you try out the advanced level. Starbucks Wiz. In standard mode, you'll earn tokens by tapping the correct answer. Tap in as fast as you can to earn more tokens. Challenge your friends in dual mode. For tryout battle of five, 
Five players enter, but only one can win. Outlast your friends in this intense online battle of wits. And earn stars, climb the ranks, and collect badges along the way. Starbucks wins. Earn stars by getting questions right, winning battles, and getting daily rewards. Get more stars and you'll quickly rank up. Get on top of the game by becoming the Mad Scientist. Get more time to think with Time Warp. Clear away two wrong choices by engaging Take 2. Or summon Eureka and the answer will be revealed instantly. Starbucks Wiz. Okay, so yun po ang ating Starbucks Wiz up. Uh, happy playing guys download and enjoy para naman sa ating GMAP app uh, this was launched in 2019 so yung app na ito po ay pwede natin gamitin para makita natin kung saan saan na nga ba may mga Starbucks na malapit sa ating lugar and as the same uh, available din po siya sa ating Google Play Store so punta lang kayo Play Store search nyo si Starbucks Geo Map, and you'll see yung kiosk icon natin. Of course, uh, created by DOST STII pa rin po, and install. So paano natin siya gamitin? Once you open yung app, so ang lalabas po niyan is yung image one. You can use our filter site, so we can filter by location, region, province, or city, or sorry. We can use it by, we can filter by name. Name po nung lugar or nung high school. Okay? And so, in summary, ito po ang ating mga platforms. So, we have the offline. Ito yung binibigay natin sa mga institutions such as schools, LGUs, and NGAs. For online portals, we have the different apps that we can access anytime. Of course, we need internet connections. Uh, as well as our mobile apps, all you need to do is download it from Google Play Store and access our different uh, applications depending sa inyong need. So for questions, comments, and request, you can email us at starbucks at stii.dost.gov.ph or dost.starbucks at gmail.com. You can also message us and follow us in our Facebook page at dost-starbucks. Thank you and have a great day. Yeah, thank you so much, Sir RJ. So I hope with those uh, Starbucks um, gamified apps, you would be interested to download our applications. Now we are moving into the Q and A portion. Again. Uh, do you have any questions? So far, wala pa po akong nakikita ang question dito about the presentation. Starbucks mm -hmm. PH, yes. Just go to Starbucks PH. Uh, teacher Irene. Why did you change clothes? I did not change clothes. <laughs> I, um, I just had my jacket. Okay, so yes, you go to starbucks.ph for uh, the Starbucks online. 
Now for the Starbucks, as mentioned, you just you need to register in order for you to access the whole materials within the database. So libre lang din naman po yun. Okay, so do you have any other question? That's questions that's related to Ayan, miss how to download Starbucks Wiz. I'm interested in it. Ayan, so punta lang po kayo sa Play Store. Hanapin niyo po ang Starbucks Wiz or DOST. Yes po, need po siya ma-download. Yung mga apps natin na binanggit ni Sir RJ, kailangan pong ma-download yun. But, uh, if you want to use the Starbucks online, uh, okay, okay lang po sa browser yun. Is it cold in there? Yes, it's cold in here. I cannot see the Starbucks Wiz on the App Store. Um, what if you try uh, just DOSD? Ayan. Pag kinlik nyo, uh, in-input po ninyo ang DOSD sa Play Store, lalabas na po yung mga apps under DOSD. And alam nyo po ba? Ayan. Although hindi namin nasabi, pero meron din po course where ang DOST, that's under SEI or Science Education Institute. So may science course where po doon, pwede din po kayo doon. Ayan. So pwedeng-pwede nyo pong hanapin si Starbucks Wiz. On the App Store. Ah, no! Sorry! App Store pala, Calvin! Um, as of today, ayan, available po siya sa Play Store lang. As of today. Sorry. Yes, thank you, Ristin, for downloading. Yes, if you want to use the Starbucks, you download the Starbucks app. Okay, yes. May I pee po? Yes, you may. Ayan, you don't like cold. <laughs> yes. Okay, so any other question that's related to the presentations? Is there a word puzzle in the Starbucks Wiz? Uh, more on questions po tayo. Okay. Starbook available. Ayan. So once again, iPhone is using iOS and it's App Store. Uh, for our uh, mobile apps, as of now, ang ginagamit lang po natin is, or this is only for Android versions and they are found in the Play Store. Okay. Uh, kapag sa computer naman po, kapag computer po ang gamit ninyo, you can use the web browser naman po. So, just go to starbucks.ph. Okay? Ayan. You download it if you need it. Okay? Uh, it's not hard. It's uh, the Wiz app is uh, actually interesting and challenging, of course, at the same time. Okay. So, as mentioned a while back, your cameras and audios are disabled because we are on a webinar mode. Okay, and please follow and like our Facebook page so, so that you will be updated on the different activities that we will be having for the year. And we will also be posting um, contests where you can uh, win uh, DOST STIA tokens, okay? Ayan. So, yung mga uh, sabi dito ni Calvin, what kind of trivia in the Starbucks Wiz can I download on my grandma's phone and grandfather's phone? Because my parents' phone brands are Oppo and Samsung. Ayan, Calvin, you can use the, uh, you can just download the Wiz app. Ayan, the Starbucks Wiz app. Uh, 
are you from the Starbucks? Okay, we have another team for the Starbucks. We are the team for the library. Ayan. So if you have, uh, if you don't have any more questions related to our uh, the presentations, or for example, after we're done and you still have questions, you can uh, just message us via our Facebook page, that Science and Technology Information Institute Library. Okay, so pwedeng pwede niyo po kaming tanongin doon. Okay, once again, uh, you download the app if you need it. Okay, so thank you so much for your very active participation. Thank you for listening also. And right now, may I request everyone to watch this video uh, as we celebrate the Women's Month. Sir Rainer? katutubong Pilipino kaibanan sa pagsiguro kan magkakanigong pag-asensya. Bilang isang Muslim, ipinagmamalaki ko ang aking pananampalataya. Naniniwala ako na hindi dapat maging hadlang ang magkakaibang paniniwala sa pagsulong ng kaularan para sa lahat. Naniniwala ako na ang mga miyembro ng LGBTQ community ay may kanikariyang kakayahan at talentong kapakipakinabang sa nito. Ang respeto at pag sa bawat miyembro ng lipunan, ano man ang kasarihan, ay susi tungo sa pantay ng oportunidad para sa lahat. Hindi hatlang ang aking kapansanan upang maging produktibo at makilahok sa gawain pang komunidad. Ang partisipasyon ng mga taong may kapansanan sa usapin at isyong pambansa ay nakatutulong sa paghubog ng aming sariling kakayahan at sa pagpamit ng lipunang pantay at inclusive. Kaming mga kababaihan sa kabukidan ay may dakulang ambag sa komunidad, lalong-lalo na sa pangataman kang kapalibutan at sin ang kasiguruhan sa pagkakaan. Kung kaya kami nangangapudan sa pantay na pagtaratahan sa kinukuanan kang natural na yaman at sin sa pagtao ni servisyo sa salod at sin kabatiran. Kami mga kabataan ay hindi lang para sa kinabukasan. Kami rin ay para sa kasalukuyan. Sa pamamagitan ng mga makabagong platforms katulad ng social media, na ipapahayag namin ang aming boses at opinion tungkol sa mga napapanahong isyo na may epekto sa amin. May karapatan din kami na makilahok sa mga gawain pangkaularan dahil dito nakasalaray ang aming kinabukasan. Bilang isang kawani ng gobyerno, Tukulin kong magsipi ng tapat, karangal at mahusay para sa bayan ko at sa aking mga kapwa Pilipino. Makikitungo ako ng pantay at makatarungan sa lahat ng lumalapit sa aming tanggapan. Patuloy kong iaangat ang antas ng paglilingkod at sisikapin kong ipalamdam sa pamamayan ang likalidad ng servisyo sa bayan. Kahit anong lahi, kahit anong relihiyon. Kahit anong katayuan sa buhay, kahit anong kasarian, kahit anong pinagmulan, kahit anong edad, kahit anong profesyon, walang dapat maiwan. Kaya magsama-sama tayong siguruhin ang pantay na karapatan at oportunidad para sa lahat. Kami ang generation ng Thank you so much for listening. So that is part of our commitment to um, promoting gender equality. Okay. So now, 
we're done with the three topics. Also with our Q&A. May I now remind everyone to answer the post-test evaluation. Okay, but before that, the Chief of the Information Resources and Analysis Division will be giving us the closing message. Sir Rainer? Sa ngalan po ng kagawaran ng Agama Teknolohiya, at DOST Science and Technology Information Institute. Ako po si Alan Taule, Chief Science Research Specialist ng Information Resources and Analysis Division o IRAD na malugod na bumabati sa ating mga panauhin para sa ating webinar on online library literacy. Naway marami po kayong matutunang bagong kaalaman mula sa ating resource speakers na tumalakay sa Paksang Library Services na maaari natin gamitin kahit hindi tayo actual na dumadalaw dito sa loob ng DOST Complex sa Bikutan, Tagig City. Sabi nga nila, this is the information age where information can be accessed with a click here and there plus a few keystrokes. Sa kasalukuyan nga, Hindi mo na kailangan ng PC or ng laptop sapagkat pwede ka nang mag-online sa telepon lamang. Ngunit dapat nating parating tatandaan na kung gaano kabilis makasagap ng impormasyon, ganun din kabilis makasagap ng disinformation o fake news. Malaking suliranin ngayon ang paglaganap ng maling impormasyon lalo na sa social media. Kaya dapat muli natin ugaliin ang pagkala ng impormasyon mula lamang sa official and reliable sources. At makasisiguro kayo na ang impormasyon at kaalamang nagmumula sa libraries ay nagdaan sa mga trained professionals gaya ng registered librarians ng DOSD STII. Muli. Ang aking pasasalamat sa ating mga panauhin sa araw na ito. Maasa kami na magiging bahagi ng buhay ng mga estudyante ang dumalaw sa DOST, STI Library, na makikita sa library.stii.dost.gov.ph. Uulitin ko po, library.stii.gov.ph. .dost.gov.ph Maligayang paglalakbay sa landas ng kaalaman at pagunlad sa buhay. Sa ulitin, Yeah, and so that is the closing message from the Chief of the Information uh, Information Resources and Analysis Division, Mr. Alan C. Tauli. And with the declaration of alert level one status of Metro Mila or the NCR, and we are expecting soon to open our library. So if, uh, for example, you are given a chance to visit just uh, follow our Facebook page and we will be posting the appointment. Okay, so mag-reserve po kayo para makabisita kayo dito sa ating library. Finally, ayan, as mentioned a while back, we will be providing an e-certificate attendance to all participants, but requirement is that you need to accomplish the pretest, the post-test, and the evaluation form. Now, the e-certificate of attendance will be sent to the email address you use when you registered. So, uh, as, men as I mentioned a while back, you need to make sure that the email address you provide in the Google form or in the form is correct. And please expect your certificate within 10 working days after this program. Here is the evaluation link. 
Mr. Rainer. Yeah, so here is the post size and evaluation link. It's also uh, in the chat box, so you can just copy this in your browser or you can just click the link. And po, so once again, uh, please expect your e certificate of attendance within 10 working days after this session. So meaning that will be on the 15th of March because uh, we're excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Okay. And while uh, you're answering the post test and the evaluation form, I would like to ask our panelists to open their camp for a quick photo op. And uh, I would like to ask also your permission. <laughs> Because we're posting the uh, the photo in our social media account. Ayan. Hi, Ma'am Eloy. Good morning po. Morning, Ma'am Eloy. Great morning, everyone. Happy to be here. Ayan. And sige po. Uh, Sir Rainer will be taking our photo. Sige po, smile po. One, two, three. Okay na po. Ayan, thank you so much, Sir Rainer. And while, uh, or as our uh, students continue um, answering our question form, uh, do you have any message, Sir Dexter? Sir Dexter, uh, I think your audio or the volume of your audio is um, minimized. Yeah, so sabi ni Sir Dexter, thank you everyone for joining in this worthwhile activity. More power to USD. And once again, thank you so much everyone for joining us. Thank you for your participation and thank you so much for listening. We will be looking forward to receiving your curial requests. Serena, please flash again the evaluation link. And, and when you're done accomplishing the post test and evaluation, uh, you may leave the Zoom room. Once again, uh, stay safe, everyone, and enjoy uh, your uh, learning journey. God bless. Thank you, BOSP. More power.